Hello everybody. Haven't seen me in a while, huh? That's because I'm getting my fix, uh, my debate and discussion fix from Discord. So, uh, I put some links to the Discord. They've expired. Maybe I'll just put up a permanent one soon. Anyway, this guy is uh, Jamie Mansell, and he's someone I've been watching for like 10 years, and I won't go into any more, but he says he's making a documentary, and he would like answers to the following questions. So, here you go. These are my answers to the following questions. And I'm having a little bit of champagne. Very little bit. All right. Uh, it's only two minutes uh, of his question. So probably a 10 minute video, let's say. Um, but here, okay. Here are the questions I would, uh, I would like you to answer if you're willing to do this and help me make this documentary. Which I would am. Be great. Okay, the first question is, who is Jamie? And uh, I don't want to elaborate too much, just like, who is Jamie? Who is he to you? Who, who is this guy? So Jamie to me is this guy that's living off-grid that is also some sort of an engineering guy. So um, <clears throat> what happened was... I subscribed to a guy off-grid, and I remember he was clearing a road to his land, and I thought, this is great. Off-grid people is the perfect people to, you know, get a camera, upload via their phone or at their family's house or at the Starbucks or wherever, and they can share their experiences because um, I wanted to say like John Muir, but not racist, they can... Um, they can enjoy this kind of solitude that you get and still share it with the rest of the world. Kind of like, um, well, again, this might be taken wrong, but I won't use that example. So that's uh, Jamie off grid. But then I started seeing videos in my subscriber list uh, from some guy building a spider robot and making, you know, making his own like making a charger, a solar charger for an iPhone and things like that. And then I realized it was the same person because like, what the heck? And, you know, and then I, the, we had the bleed over between the two, like making your own sawmill and so on. So, uh, and the dome and all of that. And so, um, you know, you remind me kind of of my cousin. Jamie reminds me of my cousin, sort of resourceful, likes to put things together. And uh, off-grid, you know, which uh, I've never been off-grid in my own, you know, root home. But uh, my dad lived off-grid in various places in California, cold and in Hawaii, warm. Not unlike Vermont and um, Panama. And uh, so, you know, I did that months at a time when I visited him as a kid and as an adult. So, Jamie's an inventor, an off-grid inventor, I could have just said. Got <clears throat> second question. What was the second question? Okay, second question. What do you think this secret project is that Jamie's doing? I thought it was something to do with your, um, your second house or your man house that you're making because that was already secret. But I know that's naive. And perhaps it's a submarine. It could be a submarine. It could be a walking robot of some sort, maybe a new spider robot, but I don't think so. I don't think you're going to circle back to that at this point. But you do have a lot of territory, it seems to me, potentially on this other island given that you're not necessarily even limited to your own parcel. There's other parcels, I think. And, you know, and you could work something out with your other partners to... Obviously, it wouldn't be a bulldozer or something like that. It's probably some sort of a facility, you know, along the lines of your house with the running track. But maybe, you know, it could be the shared space. Maybe you're going to make the root shared space uh, that you're talking about that a hub of people would have to share when there's get-togethers or use for, like, I don't know, cooking things that don't fit in their own oven, you know, 
the, the big oven or whatever. I don't really know. Third question. Can you share a Jamie memory? Just like, I don't know, anything. Well, I remember you making the case of why when people said you should just buy aluminum and steel or stainless steel parts for the robot, why you like to uh, uh, reuse, recycle. And I remember you making that uh, solar collector. I really liked the when you made and showed us the uh, sawmill that you made out of roller blades, a welded together saw blade, uh, a pulley system, and um, that was pretty much it. That was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I remember the robot, and I remember the day it walked. And that was cool. Um, I remember your little robots. Um, your, uh, you know, the little spider one, but also the other one, like, I think there was one that could grip and walk up a wall and stuff. And I remember the day, what did you do, burn or did you rip up your uh, diploma? I remember that. I remember when we got hints that you weren't living alone in your dome house. And I thought, oh, good, Jamie deserves some romance. I'm, I'm glad you found a, a woman that likes it, but I never knew you live there or not really but um i remember the getting the the water to come out of the pipe and the, the um what do they call that the ram pump or whatever click 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 that would get the dribble of water into your barrel up the hill i remember when you moved to panama and we're building a boat the the big boat you know, at a temporary place and shopping for islands. It's been a very interesting uh, thing to get to, you know, observe, take part as an observer. And the fourth thing is, could you ask, if you, if you could ask me a question, what would it be? What would you ask me? And then the fifth thing is, anything else? What would I ask you? Um, I would ask you, so I know a little bit about your goals. So you have personal goals and also your exploratory. So you're not committed to that. You, you can pivot or whatever and, or not pivot, but you know, you make, you're delaying decisions. But I also understand, and this relates to something I had, I'm not much older than you, but you know, the, about that I also have, have been interested in uh, more so when I was younger in my case of, you know, intentional communities. I also, I'm kind of a left libertarian. So, you know, I, I want a semi-independent, the right to be disassociated in your unions, but maybe share certain resources, um, not each other's labor that you're sharing, but, you know, maybe a common big kitchen or whatever a common wedding area or whatever. And I understand you still want to create something like that or have something like that if, you know, there's other people, if that's if this is the era when those kind of people could step up. And I agree, someone enough like yourself could probably do it. Uh, though it's hard to know if you would come in conflict with someone like yourself. But I think, you know, it's definitely possible. I think it's an interesting goal. So I'm interested in it. My question is, Let's say it's 100 years from now. Let's say it's 500 years from now. What do you see a community like that growing into? Like once it's a success, you get to assume it's a success. What does that success look like as it grows and all the gaps fill in over 100 years or 500 years? And because um, I think that's an interesting issue. And I think the last question is anything else? you just want to say or share or think is important to to add in would be great oh yeah there's one other thing what's your name and can i put your name like you know on the screen like down here or whatever in, in the documentary if not totally fine i'm totally happy putting anonymous people i can even you know take your 
take your video out. Okay. So anything else? I mean, I'm curious if you would come back to America. Can you ever see yourself living uh, on grid again at some point or retiring to a city? You know, there's a lot of cool adventure builder things a person could do in the city, like urban farming and stuff. So uh, it's an example of one from the past. You could do that, but I mean, you could also invent a new one, bring adventure builder to the city. Would you ever do a thing like that? Um, I'm asking too because I love the country. I live in the country, um, but I can imagine that as a retiree, if things were more affordable and sane, and let's say we subtracted all the corruption and stuff, um, you know, the city could be a good kind of a elderly living situation where if you really need to, you can get th things brought to your house and stuff like that. So uh, would you ever consider living in the city again? Or what are your thoughts on that? Maybe what are your thoughts on people that decide they do like the city? How can that be a healthy thing, right? Um, how can it, that also be an adventure builder or other classification of healthy thing? And then um, my name is Piero. Piero314 uh, is not how it's pronounced. It's Piero Pi times 100. Um, or um, some sort of alternate Piro 314 is actually fine. Piro is fine. And uh, you could credit me as Piro, P Y R H H O. And it's an ancient philosopher. I know it looks like Pyro to people, like I like setting flames, but this is spelled differently. And it was an ancient philosopher, a uh, skeptic philosopher, sort of the origin of skepticism was a philosopher with Alexander, traveled and learned some Hindu or pre-Hindu or post-Hindu, uh, pre-Buddhist thoughts over there um, in some parts of India. And uh, was so beloved by the town of Ellis, where he was from, that they decided to make uh, philosophy a tax-exempt profession. So that's my name. Thanks for all of the good content, Jamie. I wish you all the best um, as, with your lovely children and your, uh, and your wonderful partner, too. You're, you're very interesting people, which in this world is saying a lot and a good thing. Um, good luck with your documentary.